Okay, this isn't normally where I film these kind of things, but I am finally done with all three of these sketchbooks, and I'm so fucking stoked. So, anyways, yeah, hello, welcome to this kind of sketchbook tour, but there's three of them. I think I got these at Target. These are moleskins. And I absolutely loved drawing in these. It's just the fact that I had so much art block during this time. And uh, now I'm in love with like sketch sketchbook packs. I literally got like, okay, I literally got these new sketchbooks and they're like five by three inches. They're so adorable. I'll probably show you guys a picture, but yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's start this. So, I got this sticker at Oregon, and I customized this one. I wanted to try, like, graffiti tagging. It didn't- I mean, it's not really- it's more of a casual thing, but it, whatever. Here's Chance, when I was designing him. This is for, like, an art piece in, um, high school, my senior year. By the way, I graduated 2021 already. Uh, I know it's a bit late to say that, but I- I just- uh, yeah. I had noticed earlier on in the later on in the sketchbook that this page was completely empty and I just cut this out and glued it in because I literally had nothing else to do. It's bravery. More bravery. Bravery and pixie. Bravery. Bravery. I might redraw this because I do like how it is. It's just I haven't practiced backgrounds in a while. This fucking page. This here is Chance. I was designing. I was trying to decide like some sort of aesthetic for him. I decided on punk rock at first, but I'm not too sure now. I kind of like his design now. And, uh, yes, Chance is technically transgender. Female to male. Then we have Gracie over here. I love her. Okay, so some of you guys who are on my Instagram recognize this piece from an, uh, old post. So I was doing some foreshortening practice. So I thought of like this really cool power with like vines and stuff where they uproot and you could just use them. I don't know. I I like this page a lot. Not the not this one and not this one. So this is okay. I love this picture and uh, I'm so mad that I can't recreate it anymore. But this is a cat character who you guys might recognize from an old speed paint that I did a while ago. Her name is Clementine. And she is absolutely adorable. So, uh, we got Clementine here. A little bit of info about her. If you guys want, I can, like, you guys can pause and read some of this. And yeah. Bravery and Clementine. Clementine is actually technically Bravery's familiar. These are their kind of like, I think I'm gonna call them packs. Originally I called them sigils, but I think those are used for something else entirely. Uh, I tried to storyboard here. Okay, 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 okay. This is my favorite page in the sketchbook ever, okay? We got a whole bunch of expressions. This, I literally did this in the back of like a, a piece of paper from my mom's workplace. Just drew a bunch of expressions and got like a bunch of pens. And I am in love. Uh, again, if you guys want, I can, you know, bring the text over. You guys can pause and read. And yeah. So here's a little bit of uh, drawings and a little bit of uh, backstory about um, 
famili um, masters and familiars in my story. Add some more. A good sketchbook idea would be like if you can't find any room, if you don't, if if you don't know what to do with like an empty space in your sketchbook, sometimes you can like write stuff down, like literally write the most random shit. Sometimes it could be like some lore in your story or some information about your character, or sometimes you can even just write the most random shit. Uh, bravery and Pixie. I tried to redraw this, so it didn't really work in my favor. I think there's a digital piece of this. I don't know. Uh, this is, uh, this is a picture of a ghost lady that I met one time at a grave. That's a whole different thing. Bravery and Pixie. I like this outcome. I might redraw it because the, I, lesbians. I'm a sucker for them. <laughs> um, originally their names were supposed to be the Bruja, but first off, I can't say that without completely butchering it. So I'm stuck on a couple options for their last names, either Conquistador or Conquistador. I might stick with that, the last one, because they're magic and shit. Bravery. So I changed her name. I like this picture of her, of uh, her, from like the shoulder up. I think it suits her, but I did kind of alter her design a bit. Uh, and also I changed her name. She went through a lot. Some more bravery. I hate this picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some more bravery in Clementine because they're absolute beans. Uh, Chance with his very outgoing self. <laughs> I want to do like a. I want to make stickers of that so bad now. Got Pixie. Okay, so you guys know like uh, on like TikTok, those like those people with like the really fluffy hair. I really wanted to retry that for Pixie. I'm not entirely sure how I like it though. We're just going to ignore that. And then some more bravery. I had a concept of where she worked at a cafe. I might try that again. More bravery because she's like my favorite character to draw ever. And yes, I play favorites. And uh, yes. Uh, her name is Morgan. Again, I changed her last name. So, yeah. Some more Morgan faces that I didn't finish. Milo. Okay, I changed his last name from Rockefeller to Gardner. I think that, I think that suits him more. And this is, uh, okay, so fun fact about Bravery. Uh, Pixie is her ex. This is her current boyfriend. So, yeah. I was scrolling through some videos and some girl said that the um, print skater dresses were, were not good. I completely disagree. I love this. Okay, I love this. You guys can butcher me in the comment section all you want. That's my opinion and that is final. I don't know what the hell this page was meant to be. Some more lore. Oh, I want to redraw this again because I hate the way this came out. Literally, bravery and chance look like ghosts. Like Danny Phantom. Got some more Morgan. This I decided to keep for her design. You know. What? Uh, a fun fact about Morgan. I actually based her design a little bit off of Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. I like how she tries to look all put together and like fashionable and stylish and stuff and yet she literally has the body type of a literal skeleton. Pixie. Uh, we got an old design concept of Ramona. If you guys are on my Instagram you know that I recently had a design 
thing. So, yeah, this is the final thing. Also, Shana, shout out to uh, Shana. She wrote me this awesome note. Thank you. You are, you are amazing. And let's check out some stuff I have in this pocket because I, co I completely forgot about this. Oh wait, you know what this is? I think this is like an old storyboard that I was doing. Yes! Yes, it was! I'm gonna have to revisit this. Yes, I'm so mad now. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, old storyboard for like the beginning of my comic. I still haven't started it because procrastination is a bitch. Okay, next one. Get over here. Okay, starting off strong. So, I drew this picture again of bravery. Back when I still had her in this universe where she was a hacker and it was more sci-fi based rather than like, um, rather than like fantasy based. So yeah, we got some outfits of bravery. Oh, I, okay, I really want to include her character again, I just don't know where. For those of you guys who have been on my channel for a while, you know that her name is uh, Reyna. She's like uh, very curvy, but she's like the fashionista type. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I, the only reason why I haven't, why I haven't included her character in my comic is because of the fact that plain and simply, I just don't know how to. Like, I know her mom is a politician, and so is Morgan, but I'm not sure how to include her character. Uh, maybe a side character, but that's probably about it. Some more of Chance, some of Chance's outfits, and by that I mean, like, one outfit and, like, one, uh, base. It basically looks like fucking, um, <laughs> Bob Oblong from the Oblongs. Uh... Bravery and chance. I love her outfit here. I'm gonna say that right now. Pixie and bravery. Some more pixie and bravery. I love her hair here. I want to recreate that, but I don't know how. Uh, so I drew this dream catcher because I want bravery to have a tattoo. I want her to have a tattoo, but I just, for the life of me, I can't draw tattoos. I agree. I like this better than that one. I I I, I hate the don't no. Bravery again. Chance. I love his pants here. Some outfit inspiration. Ew. Yes. I literally did that in like Probably half an hour. Bravery and chance again. Some more bravery because I am an original as fuck. Clementine. Pixie. And uh yeah, this is where I changed the eye style from like regular ass basic anime. Okay, so basically, from this, to this. So yeah. And yeah, she changed. This is a concept of like, um, of, okay. I changed his name too. For those of you who know my character, Dol Dr. Elf in Tampa, who have been around this channel for a long time, he's been through quite a bit, so. Instead of Alpha in Tampa, everybody, uh, if you guys have seen my Instagram, meet Eberardo Conjurador. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he went through quite a bit. Chance, bravery, pixie. Okay, this is, a, like, this is, like, a really cute concept that I have for a character. I don't, I just wanted to draw her, but, yeah. I was thinking of, like, this plant girl. 
And, uh, I, yeah, I love her. Take care. She's a, she's a shy little bean. So, this was based off of, like, a, like, a thing about, like, um, skinwalkers, I think. That's what they're called. More bravery. So, sometimes, uh, another thing that I do in my sketchbooks when I don't really feel like drawing is I'll watch videos about, like, how to create a story. And, okay, so, <laughs> this was meant to be in... Uh, before I named him Eberardo, I named him Cesar. Yeah. Hands. Because I suck at drawing them. This is for a, uh, uh, Inktober. Uh, which I failed, again. I only got to day three. So, the, for day two, it was supposed to be suits, and I had this really good idea where Milo and Pixie would be in suits to try and win over Bravery's affections. Bravery, Chance, I love this gritty, kind of, uh, like, diluted, sort of, uh, dark look to him in this picture. Uh, yeah. This is a concept I have for a back tattoo for bravery. And yeah. More bravery. Oh, okay. We're not gonna show that, but yeah. Okay, he's wearing underwear, but I, still. I, <laughs> I can't draw must big buff guys to save my life. Okay, so funny story. So beside this page. Okay, so I was drawing this at work. And uh, I was showing another artist co-worker over there this. And, you know, she's all like, oh, this is really impressive. I love your work. And I'm like, thank you. Turn the page a little more. You see this, see this. And then turn the other page. And then what the fuck is this? <laughs> I have never shut a sketchbook so quickly in my whole life. And I was working with two co-workers at the time. One of them um, who had been training me. For a while and another one you know they both have very similar sounding names uh so yeah i literally almost showed my <laughs> my co-workers lesbians or one lesbian one bisexual but yeah i'm so proud of the picture though so don't come at me <laughs> okay so here's a cute design i have for uh Gracie, Bravery's little sister. I love her. I want to draw her more often. Clementine, base, base, uh, and yeah, that's the end of that. I'm gonna cry. Damn. That was loud. That's kind of better. Milo. Bravery. Okay, so this is like a really cute idea that I, uh, that I thought of, of, like, how would these two react if the other, if the other ended up sleeping on them? I love it. This is back when I still had, uh, Leo as a character. I don't really know how to incorporate him now, but yeah. Bravery. I hate this picture so much! So this is a tattoo idea that I had, and this was supposed to be dedicated to my Nana. Uh, and one thing, so whatever I would complete the task for her, or, you know, uh, make her happy some way, cheer her up, she'd, she'd be all like, you're right kid, I don't care what they say. That's literally her like signature catchphrase to me and I love it this is I, I had this concept of like okay Milo if you saw in the last uh, sketchbook with him being all buff and shit guy has muscle and in this picture I wanted to show that that muscle isn't just for show 
and Bravery, being a little small bean that she is, uh, <laughs> she's getting picked up. And shit. I still have- okay, I don't know whether or not I still want to have her ride around a broom or something, but I remember drawing her riding a broom a lot when I was first coming up with her ideas. Uh, I- it, it was so fun for me. I remember one picture I drew of her riding her broomstick like a skateboard, and I- I want to bring that back. Uh, I think this is a base of Bravery, and here's Clementine. Bravery and Gracie! I had a concept for, uh, the computer house, where it was like an old storage container. And actually, that's how most of the homes are in the town that they live in. Because it's like, it's one of the poorer areas, I guess. But... Their hearts. Their hearts over there in that town are more than its weight in gold. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. It was, it was wholesome and it was funny. Fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I also had this concept where the the container had been in the area that they were in for a long time, so there was a lot of overgrown shrubbery and stuff. And yeah, expressions, some notes. So guys, yeah, um, if you guys don't, again, if you don't know what to do in your sketchbooks, I'd recommend like looking up videos of like. If you guys want to write a story, maybe, then, you know, go to, like, a video and write down some notes about it. So this- okay, Nova is the character that I have, who I roleplay with a lot, and she's, like, this mute elf who uses sign language. She is my baby. She is my baby, and I love her. I love her. <coughs> fuck. Got bravery and chance. Uh, in this, I wanted to show that they're, uh, dressed up as Pugsley and Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. I- I love the concept so much, and I think it fits. With, like, Pugsley being a lot more ambitious with his endeavors, uh, and same with Chance, and Bravery, uh, with- and Wednesday being a lot more stoic, which is Bravery. Got Bravery again! And then Milo just losing his shit. Okay, what the fuck did- what the fuck is Milo bitching about now? I think it has to do with Pixie again. They've been near each other's throats all day. Clementine. I think I was trying to redraw the last picture of Bravery falling asleep on Milo. And he's adorable. Faces! Bravery. Again. Again. Bravery. I love this page. This one right here. I was trying out a new stuff. Okay, so, story time about this one. Um, I remember one time I was at my Nana's house, right? And she was sitting on the recliner with her cat, Minnie, on her lap. And I drew a picture based off of it. But, around this time, her cat had recently died. So, at the, as of this moment, she's like completely by herself. Which is absolutely sad. So I wanted to recreate a photo of... I wanted to recreate a picture of that moment. Some more unfinished drawings. <laughs> I, I, I was showing my grandparents the sketchbook. I almost got in trouble for this. <laughs> There's some formal, uh, clothing and bravery, and I figured she would look so fucking good in, like, satin gloves that went all the way up to her arm. I love that. I love that for her. And we got more bravery. And then we got Chance. Uh, yeah. So, a lot was written down here. One thing I like to do when it comes to, uh... When it comes to character design, is I write down what qualities I want them to have before I even, like, draw the base or anything. 
And I think in some of these sketchbooks you'll see that a lot. I was bringing back a whole, an old hairstyle that she used to have where her hair was short like this, but her hair was like half put up. And I love that. A uh, picture of the uh, cat that uh, my grandma lost, my nana lost. Rest in peace, Minnie. Again, I was taking notes. Uh, I did not know this until I saw the post on it, but apparently when it comes to this kind of perspective, everyone's he head is on the same level, except if you are a literal child. How to draw cat. Help. Do I, do I want to see? Nope. Clementine. Bravery. I think you guys would recognize this post from my Instagram if you guys are following me on there. I was looking at pictures of like, uh, short, like, and tall couples with like a huge size difference. And I saw this picture and I was thinking, and I immediately thought of bravery in Milo. Got chance, more chance. Uh, I was trying to draw chance. Then we got Pixie. Cause yeah, she a bad bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this entire page is a mess and I love it. I literally grabbed like this old stamper that I had that had red ink in it and I just started smearing this shit all over the page. And then I like made some of the drawings into like a sticker. And yeah, I think I like this design. Got more pixie, cause she a bad bitch. More bravery. Uh, this was kind of angsty. Um, this is like when Chance and Bravery finally meet. There's, 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 there's backstory on that. I will not spoil it, but yeah. That's all three sketchbooks. This took 30 minutes. And it's probably gonna take a shit ton of time out of my day to edit all this. But you know what? I do it for you guys. I, I do it for you guys. The, you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram. And, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. One more thing before I finish up. First off, look at the cover of this sketchbook. I did this myself. It took a shit ton of time, but I love it. This was the new sketchbook that I had ordered that I was talking about. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And they came in a pack of four, so there's this in, um, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And it's in this size, and it's so fucking adorable. Look at all the ghosty boys. So, uh, as a bit of a final kind of treat, here's the first page in my newest sketchbook. Uh, again, bravery. No shocker there. Thank you for watching. I was doing some foreshortening practice. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Stupid. You're so dumb. Anyways. Yo. Fuck out my face. Anyways, yeah, these were based off of a couple pictures that I decided to, um, I, uh, <laughs> English, please. I, I know how to speak it, trust me, okay? So, I, so, uh, yeah, no, don't, don't, <laughs> I'm done, I'm done.